So we are in the mobile command center. MCC. MCC. And we've just been chatting about one of the things that we want to get on with because uh, soon enough we'll be able to go out and use campsites and stuff that everybody else is looking forward to. And we'll be looking to build a pod. Camping and we pod. were talking about, yeah, camping pod. And um, we were talking about, okay, let's write a list of what we're going to do and we can go up and film it up in the workshop or whatever. But we keep coming up with ideas, so we thought we may as well just... It's just more and more Get it on ideas. camera and throw it out there and see what. So the brief, we, we, there's going to be some basic things that we need this, we want this to have. Okay, so that's the thing. We have some commercial vehicles. You've seen them. Volkswagen the, commercial vehicles. Volkswagen commercial vehicles. With the flatbed in the back, like creamy creamy, like um, the Italy splitty, like Swedish blue. And we use them for work, you know, especially... Um, creamy all sorts of stuff getting put in there and picking up stuff delivering stuff and it's a great van for that it's fantastic for that so we based it on the fact that why you know there'd be many of you that don't want two vans right so that's the idea we're having a something in the back that you can take off so you can transform it it's like transformers roll out campers in disguise uh you don't even remember you're too young for that i get out here what about the big lorry which big lorry there's like so I'm sorry. Optimus Prime, obviously. <laughs> See, I can't even remember the one that was a Walkman, but it was a cool Walkman. All right. Anyway, uh, so digress. So instead of having two vans, uh, you have one van that you can transform into a camper. Yes, we, we're thinking two people. Um, man and wife, man and man, girl and boy, boy and dog. Dog and dog. Dog and... Mill Hill. <laughs> Take offable by two people, so that means we've got to try and keep the weight down. I've had a, a demountable camper before that was on an old on my Isuzu, and they're brilliant, but some of them are so heavy that you kind of get to the point where it's so much work to take them on and off the truck, you don't bother ever taking them off the truck. The beauty of having them that they come off the truck is that when you get somewhere, you can demount something and you've still got a truck to go off and use and do stuff. So that for me is one of the reasons I wanted to do this. So we're um, thinking we stick some wheels on it as well. The idea is you take it off and it's light enough that you can wheel it around to the exact spot you want it to be in. Top of the hill. Bottom of the hill. Middle of the woods. Middle of the road. On the fence. On the fence. <laughs> yeah, so really mobile. Because um, there might be that spot in the campsite that you want and you can't take a vehicle there maybe so that would allow you to do that or there might be a spot that you want and you can't be bothered to unpack all your camping stuff and put your tent up like you normally would do and then when you go off is someone going to pinch your campsite not today not today yeah this is going to be a pretty basic build because we're doing this in in a week and there are loads of things you can do and you'll see you know you can swipe up swipe down left right whatever you're going to do on youtube and there are millions of people making these pods to to lesser and greater extent so with all kinds of insulation and solar panels and composting toilets and all kinds of stuff but we're just going for the basic one and get it out for summer yeah and predominantly that's because our woodworking skills aren't good enough to do anything better than that <laughs> yeah yeah the basic um, is yeah we just want a shelter somewhere to sleep yes uh, once you're a bit once you've had a beer yeah we were thinking about well we're thinking about the roof weren't we Oh yeah, yeah, that was. The thing. We, were, we were considering the roof, and, and do we need it to be tall enough to be able to stand up in? Stand upable. Problem is, um, that would make it much, much bigger on the back of the flatbed. Difficult to drive with. Yeah. Is the well, issue. difficult to drive with, heavier, Fire, more tricky yeah. to take off. Yeah. Um, I didn't know we were flying. More. Sorry, more windage. Windage. You always got to think about your windage. Yeah. We must think about ventilation actually for that. More windage. So, so we were thinking, do we put some kind of porthole in the top you can poke your head out of? Like a lifty up roof. Lifty up roof. But then I, th I thought, how about Brainway. a westy roof? Because, funnily enough, we do have two of those. We just had to cut up, and we're really sorry because everybody would be really angry with us. Two westies that we rescued from the Isle of Wight, but they were proper knackered. Yeah. But more importantly, Sad they had years and years and years of good camping in them. And now we're going to carry on doing bits. So, so we're thinking, stick one of those Westy roofs on top of our pod. Uh, gives you that extra height, comes up, 
and is also just vibing. And it's Volkswagen. Vibing. It's Volkswagen. It's, it's with the style. It, it fits uh, upcy- perfectly. Upcycling. Upcycling. So the actual lifting bit off of our Westy van, which is like a 74 Westy, something like that. And then we were talking about keeping the weight down. So we obviously won't be doing a roof cut. <laughs> I'll be literally mm-hmm. taking the fiberglass roof and the fabric-y bit. Yeah. And then we thought... We've got windows for We have windows. We've got like the slutty window. So, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Slat- Always open. Slatty wi- <laughs> Slatty windows. That, that pitch open. Yeah, what they call Louvre. Louvre, Louvre window. Louvre. Louvre. And I think they're quite a lot of money if you want to buy them anyway. But we won't be ruining them. We'll just be, again, upcycling. Speaking of money, we are planning to do this on a budget of some sort. Um, we don't want it to cost too much money. We want to be able to... You know, we're because we ain't making any money. Cheap materials and stuff that we've already got. We might make money shop. one day when we're rich and famous. Won't we? Rich and famous. Do you want to be rich and famous? I'd love to be rich and famous. I don't so want to be famous. Famous. I would just love to make money out of you lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't like to do that. It'd be <laughs> nice though, wouldn't it? Right. Anyway. Power? Yes, to the people. <laughs> do we want power? to power the van? Well, we could. Again, that's like a whole different ball game, isn't it? Solar panels. I reckon that's going a bit. So... We're not going to put any power in this one, I don't think. Yeah. But we could easily. We might have a V2. That's a bomb. V2. V2, that went over London. Yeah. So. Well, just like this video, it's going to explode on the internet. Or it's going to bomb. I think it's probably, <laughs> probably more likely. Oh, big thing at the back. Like a door. A door. Like an open, a flapping open door. So the, uh, the, the, the bed of the van comes down. Flat and then you've got the flat that comes up. The tailgate, the back nice tailgate. Open, and an aperture for the sunsets, basically. And we, yeah. Big sunsets. And we thought about also the tailgates and the side gates on these single cabs. Oh, they quite drop cool. down. Drop down halfway. Halfway. Halfway, or they obviously come down all the way normally. But we can put some chains on them or yeah. something to make them stay up. Oh, actually, we'd have to prop them underneath, really, because once they're all down, there's nothing for them to hold onto. We probably want to think about some sun protection. Some factor SPF 50. 50. Factor 50. Yeah. No, but like a shade? Maybe yeah, like a like pull-out like awning thing? Porchy. Yeah, that'd be good. Maybe you could put on either side, depending on which side the sun is coming from. Oh, yeah, cool. Why don't you just put pod? Once it's off the pod, once it's off the van, right, around. you can just turn it around. around. Yeah. The good thing about the single cabs is that underneath the flatbed, Ooh, yeah. you've got a locker. Nice big putting all your stuff. So we don't have to worry too much about storage in the actual pod. Oh, we, yeah, but... We have something, we're thinking, right? We're thinking, we're thinking some shelves or a cupboard. Maybe under the bed. Benches with uh, potential of benches or a a bed. I've seen something on the, inter, on the interweb where they've got like a bed that is a single sort of bed on the side, and then these slats pull out like that. Oh, cool! And it makes like a double. That's it. And that's quite cool because it doubles up on that. Just have to think about how the mattressy thing will work. But again, we've just got to do all this to keep the weight down. Or I could just go on a diet. If you do want to subscribe, <laughs> so I can subscribe. So I can subscribe. We haven't talked about what we're actually build out of wood. 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 I know a man in Brighton who runs the woodworking project. It's a great cause in that they take all of the timber from building sites and other places where it's being thrown away or would otherwise be thrown out, and they upcycle it, recycle it. And they've got guys and girls working for them that maybe um, would otherwise be at a loose end. You know, people that just need to do some stuff. People that have you know come from all different backgrounds, maybe addictions and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, it's a great cause. Yeah. I think if we go and see Steve, um, we might be able to barter some stuff as well. We'll give him some of our old stuff and that he can upcycle. And he might have some stuff that's ready for us. Nice. So, yeah, we'll give Steve a call in a minute, actually. Wood. Wood timber. So timber's quite heavy, which is the only downside because of the amount we'll need. But we're not having it up tall. Too tall. The roof's going to be the westy roof. That's fiberglass. The sides are going to be the windows. They're aluminium and a bit of glass. Right. And yeah. So one light, light wood, really. Light, lightweight wood. Wood. Have you got wood? Always. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll take some advice from Steve, I think, is the best way. Because it's going to be a really basic construction, we we don't we just start making it, right? We don't really need to draw it. Well, we'll, we'll get an idea of how big it's going to be. 
Who's going to help? Do we need help? Do we, we need help? We well, need help okay. in general, but Basically, who's going to help yeah. with this project? Bottom, bottom line is, we aren't the best carpenters. Chippies. Chippies. Um, and, well... <gasps> Kev. You... Kev? What about Mr. Kev? Mr. Kev. Mr. Kev will help. He's a good, he's a good dude. He's a little bit um, good at what he does, though. A bit of a perfectionist. And we'll be kind of like, cut it! And he'll be like, measure it. And like, no, no. Cut it! And he'll be like, measure it. He's the kind of guy that calibrates his tape measures. That's, wow. Did you know that's a thing? That's amazing. If you ask you, hello, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> I think that's about it, really. We're going to be real on this. This is Thursday. And next week starts with Monday. Yeah. And that's when we're going to start it. Yeah. We're going to do it. We're going to... It's going to be done by the end of next week. Yeah. We can just pump this out there today now. No, I don't think this is... Yeah, we'll put this out today. Do you think? Yeah, I think so. Right, with a really quick edit, which Adam's going to do now, we will put this out after lunch. And then we're going to look at some cool stuff. Well, excellent. Great. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. He just edited this be in kind, between. Be kind to your in, in between man. when he just said that, and just before this, he just edited this. And um, I got dead foot. Watch dead all feet. of the rest. Yeah, you haven't moved from that oh. spot for about twenty minutes. This